Good morning or good afternoon. Welcome to EMC News on Lone Star Community Radio. We record live every Monday at noon from downtown Conroe. I'm your host, Margie Taylor. We hope to give you information about uh, things that are happening and things that matter to you, local residents of Porter, New Caney, and Splendora. With the Chamber, the New Caney and Splendora School Districts, law enforcement, nonprofits that serve East Montgomery County, and local businesses. You can listen in every Monday at noon to learn more about what's going on on Lone Star Community Radio. So uh, it's very nice outside today. Yes, it's still going to be hot. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the 90s, but it's not raining. It's not as humid yet, and uh, we are excited that you're listening. Today, we welcome Dion Booker, Chris Christy Haywood and Shannon Walton from Gold's Gym and Courtney Widener from Falaco's Food Truck. We're talking about getting fit for fall through healthy living and eating. But before we speak to our guests, let's talk about what's going on in East Montgomery County. Splendora High School football has their homecoming game this week. The Wildcats will play Umble at 7 p.m. with the home court advantage on their new field. Each day will be a designated day for dressing up. And I don't actually recall what those specific days are, but you can go to their uh, Facebook page and find out more about it. New Caney football won their homecoming game last week and has an away game against Dayton this Friday at 7 p.m. Porter High School football plays Thursday evening at 7 p.m. against K Park at Turner Stadium. National Night Out is coming Tuesday, October 4th. Many communities are planning activities. The East Montgomery County Fire Department invites the public to eat hot dogs, visit the firefighters, check out their fire apparatus, maybe even shoot with a, whatever, it's not called shoot a hose, turn on the hose, spray the hose, whatever, and uh, play some fun games from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Splendora location on Old Highway 59 in Splendora. Roman Forest will also have their annual spaghetti dinner to raise funds for the fireworks show they put on every year on the 4th of July. And did you know that Walmart is aggressively working to open up a new superstore on Highway 59 at FM 1485? Yes, and I said aggressively. They are out there um, trying to get this done, and they are hoping to have it done by fall 2017 because they are losing millions of dollars in annual sales by not being open so they're clearing trees putting in sewer and have already approached new caney mud to move forward so that's exciting i just hope they have the bank that i bank at there (laughs) that would be even more exciting community development grant applications are due next monday september 26th in the m said office applicants must be a nonprofit organization or a government entity and all projects must be in emc boundaries you can go to emctx.com for more information or call 281-354-4419 again that deadline is next monday at 5 p.m for any grants so the grand texas theme park yes it still is happening the rv sites are finished and being occupied right now they have the clubhouse they have they can take in private parties and they are right next to speed sports racing park which is opening in november still i checked it out on their page and they don't say anything different as of yet so we're hoping for a november opening And that is with uh, go-karts going up to 85 miles an hour. This is for the public. It's for people to come in and have fun. Uh, It's also a great team building thing. Uh, yes, it, you could, you might see a little mini Cooper there going that fast and it's not mine. So anyway, more things going on. Academy at Valley Ranch is opening this Friday. It is the first of the many stores that are opening in, uh, Valley Ranch. So their soft opening will be this Friday and their grand opening will be September 30th. Did you know that the 1,400 acre community development is 1.5 million square feet, which is larger than the Woodlands Mall? It is going to be huge. It is the biggest development in the greater Houston area happening in East Montgomery County. There will even be an amphitheater larger than the Cynthia Woods Pavilion. How about that? So if you think we don't have it going on, we have it going on. 
So some up calendar, calendar, upcoming calendar dates. September 21st, Breakfast Connections with the Greater East Montgomery County Chamber at Kingwood Medical Center at 8 a.m. This is a free networking opportunity, and you do not want to, you do not need to be a member to attend. There will also be a ribbon cutting for Commercial State Bank from 4.30 to 7.30 on the 21st, which is Wednesday also. Hors d'oeuvres and refreshments will be served. They are located at 24080 Highway 59. You can't miss their beautiful building right from the highway. It's huge. Thursday, September 22nd, Spellabration will be at the Woodlands United Methodist Church from 6 to 8 p.m., and this is hosted by Volunteers of America. For more information, send an email to literacymc at yahoo.com. September 23rd through 21st, which would be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this coming weekend, the East Montgomery County Rodeo and Barbecue Cook-Off with a Carnival will be at Bull Salas Park. And you, everyone is welcome to come and join the fun, and it all goes towards the youth that attend schools at uh, New Canyon Splendora ISD. Also September 24th, which is what we will be hearing about, is the Gold's Gym Fit Fest. And that is open to members and the public alike for free, and they will have lots of fun things going on, and we're going to hear more about that shortly. October 1st is the Sawmill, the Texas Sawmill Festival, with axe throwing, a lumberjack competition, tractor races, live entertainment, and uh, they're going to have a whole show dedicated to them next Monday. The committee is looking for uh, different organizations to volunteer for fun things, including the beer booth. So we still need volunteers for the Kids Zone, the beer booth, uh, celebrity axe throwing. Yes, there's going to be a celebrity axe throwing where you do not throw it at people. You are throwing it to stacks of hay. Uh, and the prizes will be donations towards the uh, high school graduation, project graduation of your choice. So uh, we will also have some different people on the show next week uh, from the uh, Paul Bunyan show that's going to be happening. And the Paul Bunyan show is a performance that takes place in Epcot out in Florida. So they are also part of the uh, Texas Sawmill Festival. And this is, again, a free event that is September 1st at Bull Salas Park in New Caney. October 8th is Heavy Trash Day, 8 to 2 p.m. at four locations. You can call the Precinct 4 office to find out those locations, but the acceptable items include furniture, boats, motorized equipment, exercise equipment, uh, most appliances, and other household furnishes. Tires from passenger vehicles and pickups can be dropped off at the Precinct 4 office location on Roberts Road only. If you want more information, you can call their office at 936 936- 760-6998. So another thing I want to mention, since we are in downtown Conroe, is we are having a massive scavenger hunt here, free, from 11 to 2 p.m. And people who want to participate will do this in teams of two or three and gather at Founders Park over at the corner of Metcalf and Main tomorrow, starting at 11 p.m., and they will get instructions as to what they need to do and to go into all these 19 different venues through clues, and they will write down the answers to these clues to win possibly a grand prize. Each venue will be donating a grand prize that includes jewelry or tickets to see the Adams Family at the Crichton Theater or the show at the Owens Theater or other uh, wonderful things, including some of the uh, eateries in town. So that's, again, 11 to 2, downtown Conroe, and you don't need to RSVP. You just show up. This is not a race, so you can take your time, but it will be done by 2 p.m., and we will randomly select the winners. There will be even food on the go. Some of the venues will offer sandwiches and desserts and cookies and different things to eat while you are looking for the items in their stores. So... That is it for now. EMC News is an hour-long talk show, Mondays from noon to 1, and uh, we will be right back with uh, my guests from Gold's Gym to hear more about FitFest. I'm Margie Taylor, EMC News. 
EMC News, your local news from EMC every Monday at noon on Lone Star Community Radio. When medical emergencies happen, trust your best neighbors ever for extraordinary emergency care from board-certified physicians. Neighbors Emergency Center is making lives better by providing exceptional medical care for you and your family 24-7, 365 days a year with little to no wait time. With Montgomery County locations in Porter and Kingwood, Neighbors Emergency Center is there for you. For more information on Neighbors Emergency Centers, please visit them online at nec24.com. Want to know what's happening in East County? You're listening to EMC News on Lone Star Community Radio. Hello, I'm Margie Taylor, and we are here back on EMC News, recording live from downtown Conroe. So today uh, we have Dion Booker, Shannon Walton, and Krista Haywood from Gold's Jam. Welcome, ladies. Thank Thanks you. for watching. So they are going to talk a little bit about Gold's Jam, their free event that's happening this Saturday in many of the uh, places. I'm assuming, is this at all the Gold's Gyms or just your Gold's Gyms? It happens at the Gold's Gyms here in Houston. Okay, so uh, the ones that in particular you guys are uh, talking about are Kingwood, 1960, Cypresswood area, Magnolia, Conroe, and Bear Creek. Is that Katie? Yes, it's Highway 6 and Clay Road. Okay, so um, tell me a little bit about what we're talking about. What is FitFest? Well, thanks, Margie, for having us on. We are so excited about FitFest. We just love our members, and we want more people to be a part of it, to lead a happier and healthier life through exercise. And this is just a great opportunity for new people and our members to bring guests, to come into the club, see all the wonderful activities we offer. And I'll let uh, Krista talk a little bit more about the activities we have that day. And Krista, what is your position with Gold's Jam? A great fitness manager. Which is what? (laughs) Well, basically, um, I'm in charge and manage all the instructors for three of the six locations that we have. Oh, okay. So anywhere from just your regular, like, yoga classes to cycling to your more um, small group training that we have in the clubs. So you put the schedules together, yes, too, and all that. And then, exactly. Shannon, you do the same thing. Yes, I do. Okay, awesome. So tell me a little bit about what you're going to do. Okay, well, so Saturday the event is from 9 to noon, mm-hmm. and it is open to... Uh, guests and members and we're going to have um, each club's going to have local vendors set up it's a free event for everyone regardless of whether they're a member or correct correct so it's open to all okay Um, we're going to have raffle prizes so uh, we'll have um, big event like a thousand dollar giveaway we'll have a flat screen tv giveaway we have some um, small gifts that we've put together, as well as a big, like, gym bag full of goodies. And this is at all locations. So it'll include uh, youth activities for kids. Some locations will have DJs. It's just going to be a really, like, fun, exciting, um, lots high of ener- energy. high energy event. That's what it sounds like, a lot of yes. high energy. Now, yes. Shannon, aren't you also doing some kind of a uh, cycling event as well? Yes, we are. We're doing a benefit for the Tour de Cure, which um, benefits the American Diabetes Association. Uh, Gold's Gym is a national sponsor for the American Diabetes Association. Uh, So we'll be doing a 90-minute cycle ride, and it is a $15 donation, as well as we are collecting donations at our front desk throughout the month. And we have also put together a cycling team, which will ride on October 1st at the actual Tour de Cure event. So we have a wonderful group of 18 people who are raising funds and will get together and ride um, at Waller High School. That's where the ride takes place from Waller High School. Anywhere from 100 miles to down to a uh, 10-mile family run. They also have a 5K run this year also. Uh, So I'm excited to be part of that this year. This is my first year actually riding in it with um, some of our instructors and our members. Uh, Are you going to go 100 miles? Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Not this year. Uh, Maybe I'll shoot for that next year, but uh, we're doing, uh, the majority of us are doing the 35-mile ride, which is right in the middle. How long does that take to do something like that? Uh, I, I'm going to assume it's going to take us anywhere from two to three hours to do okay. the 35 miles because we're not um, active cycle racers. 
uh, we're more right. of the leisurely riders. <laughs> so yeah. um, two to three miles, and um, yeah, it's it's exciting. It's exciting for me. So, so uh, the American Diabetes Association is your non partner community partner that you do things with. Correct. So Gold's Gym partners with the American Diabetes Association for this event. Mm -hmm. Uh, We also do workout for pink and pink out month for breast cancer as well. And we also work with the American Heart Association. Okay. Okay. All things having to do with your health. Yes. Imagine that. Absolutely. So, um, well, this sounds like a fun thing. Now, you also, um, and the reason why we have Polacos on here, too, because they're also partnering with you at the Conroe location, and we will talk with Courtney in a little bit in the latter part of this segment. So, healthy eating as well is what you promote. Yes. Are you having other uh, food trucks or anything at your other Well, spots? we're trying to have... Uh, bounce houses for the kids at all of our locations we'll have djs we'll have vendors some will be given massages chiropractors food anything else that i'm missing um at two of our locations we actually have a special guest um jamie eason who is a fitness model writer and mom um she is coming to our kingwood location as well as our humble park lakes location she will be at park lakes uh, from 9 a.m to 10 30 And then we'll head over to Kingwood from 11 to 12. She'll be there answering questions. Um, She is uh, very well known to a lot of um, Facebook folks that like to follow these famous fitness um, models and um, personalities. Um, And she just has um, a really wonderful story about her journey between becoming a fitness model and now being a mom. Okay, great. So people can get a couple of uh, tips from her, perhaps, and yes, talk with her absolutely. and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. It sounds good. Anything uh, else? Yeah, we'll also have our grit games, which are small competitions with the members. So they go from one circuit to the next, performing oh. different activities, and they'll it's an eight minute activity, and they will be worn out yes. as if it's been little an hour. Healthy, More high energy, little healthy competition. Right? Mm-hmm. Well. Competition is good, you know, people kind of thrive on that. So do they win prizes? Yes. Of course they win prizes. um, Not only will they be named the GRIT champion of 2016, we will have a a male and a female champion. Um, They will receive their GRIT champion uh, t-shirt as well as towel and just the bragging rights. It's the um, high-intensity interval training workout that we have called in the name of it is called grit Mm. um and it's as many reps as you can do in 45 seconds with a very short rest and you will go from exercise to exercise to exercise and believe me eight minutes although that seems fast it's a lifetime when you are trying to max out reps yeah, it sounds tough. I, I am strictly a runner. That's what I do. <laughs> Forward motion only. I, I have a hard time mimicking or doing other mm-hmm. things or right. even the reps. Add this for a little variety. Yes. <laughs> it, yes. it will make you run faster. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know if I care about running faster at this point. <laughs> but, um, anyway, uh, so you also offer personal training, right? Yes, and our personal trainers will be on the floor on Saturday, so you'll be able to ask questions, get to know the trainers a little bit. Our personal training program is such an important part of what we do because we want our members to have results. You know, you go to a club and you're putting in this effort, and the results aren't there, so you end up quitting, and then you're going backwards from where you started. So we really try and emphasize the importance of getting with the personal trainer, getting them get they can help you get started off on the right foot. We have packages that start at six sessions on to however many you want, however much hand-holding you may need to, you know, you being able to do it on your own and us just checking in with you when needed. And there's usually 10 to 15 trainers on staff at a time. And at each location? At each location. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask, too, because people like, it's kind of like a massage therapist. You know, you want different ones that more suited to what you're looking for. Correct. Right. Yeah, so we'll pair you up with mm-hmm. that chemistry of who we feel like you would work best with. And if that doesn't work out, we have other trainers you can choose from. Now we've set it up that you can set up your personal training online on a scheduler. So if you need oh, to change okay. that appointment or change Make your trainer, mm-hmm. we want it as convenient as possible. And I'm for sure, our do you have an app? 
Yes. Okay. Yes, of course, of you course. have an app. Of all course. Right. So all the right. app so has you everything on your app. exercise. Apps are all the hours. schedules are online. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how long has Gold's Gym been around? Um, so we opened over 50 years ago. We just celebrated our 50th anniversary uh, two years ago. And our Conroe Gym is a franchise of Gold's Gym Inter- national and we opened that in 2003 that was our first gold's gym in houston and then wow. uh then we slowly added uh the other five gyms year after year our magnolia location was in 2008 our kingwood location was 2007 i believe and uh two years ago we opened up the one at 1960 east and the year before that we were at the humble location so it's a growing growing business yes yes so it seems to me that your biggest competition would be, I can't, the name has escaped me at the moment. That's good. Uh, no, <laughs> the places where people go and they do the interval training. What is that called? The CrossFit gym. CrossFit. Thank uh, you. Yes. 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 So how are you different from them? Or what, I mean, CrossFit is basically just uh, interval training, different things like that. Yeah. So what yes, it, makes, it has a little bit more of a power lifting feel mm-hmm. to it. CrossFit it feels does. like that to CrossFit me. I mean, does. I haven't mm-hmm. been to one, but it seems like it would be a heavy emphasis on that. Mm-hmm. So this has more of the other classes, like that you yeah, were talking you about, the schedules, of, of personal things. trainers. We have babysitting while mm-hmm. you work out, locker rooms for you to shower, lots of cardio equipment, because not everybody is So built more personal to, attention to We have things. air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Yay for air conditioning. Yeah, you're not going to get that. In you know, I, I'm just asking because people want to say, because mm-hmm. I know that's a big thing lately. Mm-hmm. Of course. But whenever I see the uh, CrossFit stuff, I see the big guy lifting the weights or the girl and all that. But you offer a lot more. I mean, you offer that, but you offer a lot more things besides that. So Something it's kind of like everybody. the Cadillac, right? Yes. yes. Okay. See? A la carte. All right. Okay. So just had to ask. Um, So why exercise? Why work out? Um, There are just so many benefits uh, to exercising. You know, you're decreasing the risk of serious health diseases, heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, cancer. Um, It lowers stress, anxiety. Um, We have uh, a variety of, of different classes and amenities at the gym to allow every person to find their niche um, and what works best for them. And um, you're going to get an increase in your energy. We have the child care, which is also can be a stress. It allows um, moms to work out um, or dads that, you know, have to stay home with their children at certain times of the day. It allows parents to work out together. I think that is amazing also. Um, two out of three Americans are considered overweight or obese. And 70, 17% of our children are obese at this point. So this is the time for us to all get involved in some sort of exercise to feel healthy and better about ourselves. Well, it sounds great. So September is also, everyone is a member in September. Tell me about that, Dion. Yes, everyone is a member in September. We want you to come as a guest and you will get free access to the club until the end of September. And this is just a great time to find that accountability partner that's going to motivate you to work out. So if you have a friend or family member you enjoy working out with, invite them to the gym and they can work out for free for the rest of September. Sounds great. So we will come right back. Uh, We're going to visit with Courtney Widener of Falaco's Food Truck. And then we're going to bring you both uh, Gold's Jam and Falaco's together to talk about uh, Fit Fest and other things about living healthy. So this half of EMC News is sponsored by Neighbors Emergency Clinic. So when emergencies happen, your best neighbors for extraordinary emergency care 24-7, 364 days of the year with no wait in case you hurt yourself at Gold's Gym, which never was is going to happen. But Neighbors Emergency Clinic. We'll be right back. I'm Margie Taylor. This is EMC News recording live from downtown Conroe. Stay tuned to the EMC News Hour with your host, Margie Taylor. When medical emergencies happen, trust your best neighbors ever for extraordinary emergency care from board-certified physicians. Neighbors Emergency Center is making lives better by providing exceptional medical care for you and your family 24-7, 365 days a year with little to no wait time. With Montgomery County locations in Porter and Kingwood, Neighbors Emergency Center is there for you. For more information on Neighbors Emergency Centers, please visit them online at nec24.com. 
www.emcnewshour.com. Stay tuned to the EMC News Hour with your host, Margie Taylor. Hello, uh, I'm Margie Taylor, and I am your host for EMC News. So we like to inform people of what's going on. We do this every Monday at noon, and we're always looking for both guests and sponsors. So if you would like to be a sponsor or be on the show, talk about what's going on in East Montgomery County, whether you're a business, a nonprofit, you have a special event coming on, you can go to uh, IRLoneStar.com forward slash EMC, and you can call me. My number is 936-828-6881. Or you can go to my uh, website and send me a message, and that is tailorizedpr.com. Our next guest is Courtney Widener. Courtney has a farmer's insurance business located on the corner of Loop 336 and Sergeant Ed Holcomb in Conroe. But she started up a food truck business, which is so different from the insurance business. <laughs> uh, and she's been planning this for all of 2015, and she's been on the road since April and traveling throughout our county and adjoining communities, spreading healthy options. Yes. Welcome, Courtney. Thanks, Margie. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, so it just seemed like it'd be a good fit because you are going to be doing something with Fit Fest in Conroe yes. with Gold's Gym. Yep. But to also let people know a little bit about um, what Falacos is and what gluten free means, and you don't have to be vegan, which seems to be a bad word lately in the it community. It has a bad rap, unfortunately. and I don't understand yeah. that. I mean, you don't have to be vegan to eat. You don't. No. Are you have to be vegan to eat a salad? Come on, no, people. no not at <laughs> so, all. Not at all. Yeah. So Falacos, uh, if you've been around Conroe, you might have seen our, our big green girl Evelyn. She's a uh, re- rehabbed FedEx truck. Uh, but she's got a green wrap on her and a big Falaco sign on the side. And she does she does live and sleep at my insurance office, which, as you mentioned, is on the South Loop just past the hospital. And uh, I never serve food there, though. So if anybody ever wants to come by the office and see the big green truck there, unfortunately, we never serve food from that location. That's just where the truck sleeps and our office is and everything. But uh, we do bounce all around Montgomery County. We've been out to Montgomery, Magnolia, uh, Willis. We've been out to uh, New Caney. We've been down to Texas City. We've been all over the place. And um, it's been a lot of fun. So Falaco's Food Truck is a completely plant-based truck. I like the word plant-based because you're right. The word vegan does have sort of a negative connotation with it. And it's kind of funny because I've asked folks when they make a face, when they say, well, what sort of meat do you have on the truck? And I say, <laughs> well, this truck's all about the plants. You know, we have a lot of plant protein in our tacos. And People will say, well, there's no meat. And I'm like, well, yeah. Have you ever had a meal without any meat in it before? And most people really haven't. It's kind of an odd concept. But when I say the food is vegan, they kind of make a face. And so I'm like, well, what, is that? what does that mean? What did you just think of just now? What did you just think of? Most of the time, the answer is tofu, which is really kind of funny because there's no, like tofu. T- there's no tofu on this truck at all. Like none whatsoever. I'm not a fan of the tofu. So anyway, it's just funny to me. So there's a lot of like preconceived you know ideas or bias against vegan food and so but what I'm the purpose of Falacos really is to give people an option you know there's plenty of places where we can get tacos or uh, hamburgers or hot dogs or chicken or you know what have you but if somebody really wants a a good plant-based meal that doesn't have any heavy butter or you know cheese or milks or you know things like that and just have a nice nice healthy Feeling. And it's very filling, it too. It is very filling. And it's not the type of filling that after you have one of our falacos that you have a food, what I call a food coma, you know, afterwards, where you got to take a nap or a little siesta after lunch. You know, you don't have that. You feel energized after eating And you feel food. like you need to go to Gold's and Gym and work out. That's right. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Which is still an okay thing. Yes, falacos so, fuels you. So that way you have the energy to work out. You don't out. feel like you have to go work it off now. That's right. That's right. But you have the energy to work out. So what should you be is a falaco before we go further? All right. So a falaco is. It is a falafel taco. Most people don't know what falafel is, so just a little rundown on that. Falafel is, uh, it's a fried item. We do fry our balls in peanut oil. Uh, Our falafel balls are made of chickpeas, onions, garlic, parsley, and a whole bunch of spices that we grind up, and then we make them into these balls, and we deep fry them. Who's we? We. Well, me and my team, (laughs) me and my me and my helpers, yes. My my ladies. Yeah, it is me most of the time. Yes. All of our food is made from scratch, by the way. A lot of people may think that we buy store bought hummus or things like that. No, no, no. We make everything from scratch on the truck, with the exception of uh the corn tortillas that we purchase because uh Falacos is also gluten free. 
a lot of folks have gluten sensitivities can't eat gluten at all can be very painful or detrimental to their health and so i I wanted not only for falacos to be a completely plant-based truck but also a gluten-free truck so that people that can't have gluten have a safe place to eat they don't have to worry about cross-contamination or anything like that in their food so our tortillas are corn tortilla it's a certified organic and certified gluten-free corn tortilla uh each tortilla is topped with a custom hummus depending on which falaco it is there's actually seven different ones on our menu if you check us out online at falacos.com you'll see all our different menu items however they're not always on the truck all the time the menu kind of changes and we rotate in the tacos at different weeks and so um but they all have the same basic formula it's the corn tortilla a custom hummus two falafel balls uh, a custom sauce uh, or a, a dressing of some sort that goes on top uh, and some different vegetables. It might be fresh greens, it might be a fresh relish or a salad, or it might be some sauteed veggies or guacamole or something like that. So you always have tortilla, hummus, balls, sauces, and toppings. And you can eat one and be filled. Yes. A lot, that's the other thing. People say, well, how big are your tacos? Because most people are accustomed to having like maybe four or six tacos, you know, little tacos at a you know, taco place or something. But our tacos are very hearty. So, and they are very filling. So most of the time, one is plenty for, you know, the ladies. Sometimes guys will eat like two or three if they're like really hungry. But that's really so After much After they food. worked at a gold it's, gym. It's so not necessary <laughs> to eat that much, like seriously. So, yeah. but one of them is very, very filling. And for those that are, you know, watching the carbs, if you don't want the corn tortilla, uh, or some people may not want, you know, the corn, what have you, um, you can always just request no tortilla and in lieu of of the tortilla we will give you an extra falafel ball so you get three balls instead of two yeah okay so then you also have healthy drink options yes so we do not have what we do not have is sodas because well i'm not a soda person myself so what we have on the truck every day is a fresh infused water of the day there is no added sugar in our infused water and it is very simple it is water that it's been infused soaking with a combination of fruits vegetables or herbs and so it gives the water a nice flavor to it fresh and fresh yes and unless you know something happened i almost 99% of the time, there's always free refills on my truck. So once you purchase one of our infused waters, you're hanging out for a little while, doing the farmer's market, wherever we may be, hang on to your cup, bring it back. We'll always keep it filled for you because I'm all about hydration. People need to have lots and lots of water. And it's so so thirst quenching. Yes. Especially if you've been standing outside on a street corner for a farmer's market for four hours. That's right, Margie. You need your water. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) And so, yes. So I'm all about, you know, making sure everybody stays hydrated and drinks plenty of water. And you also have a uh, nanners nanners and nuts yes our protein shake smoothie so a lot of folks especially those which that also work is out, a meal in itself it is a meal in itself a lot of folks know the whole protein shake game and you know you buy your protein shake mix it with water or milk or nut milk or what have you so what we did is uh, we took a protein shake that is vegan organic it's uh, arbon many people know the arbon product and uh, i'm a big fan of that and it's a pea protein so it is all plant-based uh, protein, their protein shake, and then we take that, we mix it up with some cashew milk, frozen bananas, a whole bunch of other nuts and seeds, and all that good stuff, and then blend it all up, and it does. It tastes like a chocolate it's really peanut good. butter banana it is good. milkshake, and it's so good, but it's, it is. It's it's like a meal in a glass. It's very filling. So uh, we have uh, another few minutes, and I want to talk about a couple mm-hmm. other things. Um, how did you get going on this? How did I get going on this? So I've been doing insurance for a really long time. Um, Insurance was our family business, and I started working for my dad fresh out of high school, and uh, and I never left. So it was like I kind of stepped in the family business. And then a few years ago, when my husband and I had our awakening about food, because he was very uh, overweight and unhealthy and on lots of meds that they told him he'd be on for the rest of his life, like most people and their doctors tell them that. Uh, and he just he didn't like the, the sound of that at all. And so we started watching documentaries and got an awakening about food. And he's like, okay, I'm going to try this whole plant-based thing for a while. And we did. And he got incredibly healthy. And he lost all his weight. And he got off all his meds. And here we are you know, three years later, and it's it's just really amazing. And so during the course of this transformation and him getting healthy, I'm just like, man, we can't go out to eat anywhere. There's like no place where we can go and get anything but a salad. And what's kind of funny is, I mean, we say we have salad on our menu. Very rarely do I have a salad on the truck because nobody ever orders it. They want to try the falacos. Like, oh, I've always had salads, you know. They want to try something new and different and hearty that's plant-based besides a salad. So, and that's all we could eat. So I saw a demand for it. You know, we're not the only 
plant-based eating people out there or people that have, you know, allergies to milk or allergies to eggs. And, you know, those folks have a hard time eating out places too. You know, we have lots of folks that come up to the truck and they're so grateful because they're like, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, I can't have milk and, or, or I can't have this and I can't have that. And they can have anything on our truck. So while they may not be a vegan or, you know, they may still eat meat or, you know, something or they, they're totally safe but at Palacos and it's, it's awesome. Delicious. Right. Yeah. So I knew I was going to make this truck and, um, it was kind of a, a long process. I worked with a business coach, shout out Bob Keplinger, action coach, uh, got me to where I could have my insurance business running without me. So I could start devoting one day a week to building this food truck business. And I started doing that in 2015. Every Thursday was food truck Thursday. And I took that one day out of my schedule to build a business. And that's and, amazing. Not, not very many people do that plan yeah. their things and with a designated day with a business plan mm-hmm. and stick to it for a solid yep. year. Yeah. So, so I did that for a I, whole I year and, and then, cool. you know, so uh, the truck was ready in March of this year. And then we opened at April 7th. And you've been at running? Market, at Conroe Market. Ever since. So you yeah. also have an app if people want to find out where you are, yes. what the schedule is. And of course, you have it on your website, but you have yes. a really outstanding app. My app is awesome. Lipstick Marketing did a fabulous job on that. You can go to your app store, either if you have uh, iPhone or Android, doesn't matter. Go to your app store and type in Falaco's Food Truck. That's F-A-L-A-C-O-S Food Truck. And it's a uh, green little green logo you can't miss it and it's a very very user-friendly app uh got our calendar on there got links to reviews facebook uh you can scroll and see our calendar it's always got the dates times locations all that good stuff and you're open for catering yes events businesses you're looking for lunch places to go absolutely in and around uh montgomery county would be great yes you know uh places just where you can go park for a few hours and sell your wares yep if you want to do a cater and office lunch you know for your office or shopping center or you know what have you we can totally hook you up with that and we can customize the menu you know if there's a certain thing that y'all want to have you know on a particular day and we plan it well enough in advance you know we take requests and you have like a barbecue type thing and you have almost like a fajita type thing i mean you have different spices that uh kind of authenticate um mexican type right the different falacos right like right now on the menu this week we have the texas and the og the og is more of a traditional garlic hummus uh cucumber salad tzatziki you know that sort of flavor but then our texas is like straight up barbecue it's got dill pickle hummus barbecue sauce fresh coleslaw so it's two totally different flavors same balls but different flavors totally yes okay so one other thing i want to include real quick before we take a break is all of your products are trying to um eliminate some of the carbon footprint too yes right yeah so uh beings that i have a green truck granted it's not totally green yes it runs on diesel but you know uh do what i can so rather than creating more waste that was one thing i didn't you know having a restaurant i know there's just so much waste that goes into it both food uh waste and also the packaging everything like that so i wanted to make the extra effort to purposefully purchase all 100% compostable packaging. So you'll notice on the truck, we have two trash cans. One's for recycling, which is for mostly other people's trash. And then also we have one for composting, which everything that comes off this food truck, whether your food is served in a paper boat or a plastic cup, which is corn plastic, by the way, it is all compostable. The forks, the straws, the little plastic wrap, the napkins, everything off the lockers goes in the compost bucket uh, because it all is compostable. We take everything over to Nature's Way Resources off 1488, uh, the big composting facility over there, and they take Falaco's trash and it's awesome and so all of our food scraps when we're doing food prep uh all that good stuff we put it on a compost bin and then we take it over there and dump it at nature's way and then we recycle everything else that we can the water bottles that we serve even though we do encourage folks get that infused water because it's got free refills on it don't buy a bottle you know bottle water but um but that's why we have the recycle can is for people to put those bottles of water or trash from other places as well and i end, and yes i do sort the trash every night you guys people because <laughs> people don't pay attention and they put trash yes, in the compost right, bin right, and then right. they put the compost but at least you're trying in the recycle you know? bin yes it takes like all of a minute to sort the trash at the end of every night and you know what it's cool. okay because i'm not adding more stuff to the landfill so so I'm good with, uh, real I'm good with it. quick one question before we take a break here how many 
gluten-free vegan food trucks are there? There are none. There's one. What there was that one. number? There's <laughs> one, Margie. So, there's one. Yes, there's there is one. one. And it's called good. Falaco. So That's right. If, uh, whether you're vegan or gluten-free or whatever, it's still good food. And yes. you are the you only try one in the greater Houston area. That's right. So we'll come back in just a few minutes and we'll talk to Gold's Gym and uh, Courtney and uh, talk about their business together and how you can get connected with them. I am Margie Taylor. This is EMC News, and we'll be right back. Animals of all shapes and sizes are welcomed at Big Thicket Vet in New Caney with vet services like extensive health exams, vaccinations, heartworm, tick, flea prevention, along with experienced and trustworthy emergency and urgent care. For more information on Big Thicket Vet in New Caney, visit BigThicketVetNC.com or locally at 1-8403-FM-1485 in New Caney, Texas. Hello, I'm Margie Taylor. This is EMC News. Check us out on Facebook at EMC News. Like us to see more information about upcoming shows and guests. And again, we're always looking for more people to uh, come on the show and tell us what you have going on in your life. So we are back here again with Courtney Widener of Polacco's Food Truck. And we have Dion and Shannon here with Gold's Gym. Dion, what is your position with Gold's Gym? I forgot. <laughs> no problem, Margie. Uh, <laughs> I specialize in corporate memberships, working with companies as they push forward their health initiatives and work to have a healthier and happier work staff. Okay. So FitFest is this Saturday, September 24th, from 9 till noon, with lots of fun, high-energy stuff, and a big emphasis also on youth fitness. Tell me about that, Shannon. Absolutely. Part of our job as a group fitness manager is not only with the adults, but we also um, run the youth fitness program, which is for ages 7 to 12. We have evening classes at each of our clubs uh, for our youth fitness, and we just want them to be involved and start um, a healthy um, way to be active, whether they're involved in sports already or they just aren't involved with sports. But we just want to start those habits early for our kids. Okay, so you're going to have some programs for them as well? We will have outdoor activities, um, different games, different challenges, um, obstacles. Um, just each club will have a little bit of a different um, area set up depending on... They tailorize our, it. Yes, uh, depending on our youth coaches that we have at each each location. And um, we're just we're excited to have them be involved as well as the adults. Oh, great. I think it sounds like a great time. And they need to remember to bring their $15 in check or cash or whatever if they want to donate to the American Diabetes Association and be part of that fundraiser. Yes, a part of the 90-minute ride. Okay. Absolutely. And Courtney, you and Falacos yes. will be over at the Conroe location. That's Is that right. correct? Right. Right there in West Davis, 45 and 105, basically, the Gold's Gym Near location. Near where um, Hastings used to be. Yes. Yes. So we will be there set up from 9 until noon, serving up our Falacos and other items that we have what, available. What, do you know what truck. you're serving? Yes. We have the OG and the Texas this okay. weekend. Okay. Yes. And those are both two of my favorite yes, ones. Yes, they're so good. They're so good. I encourage everybody, it, it, meat eaters and non-meat eaters alike, just give it a try. I can't tell you how many times I've captured the expression or the experience that somebody that loves eating meat just tries our tacos for the first time. They're like, there's no meat in this. It's like, no, there's no meat in this. And they, it's so good. It, like, it blows their mind. So I encourage everybody, just try it <laughs> one time. Yes. Well, it's kind of like you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. There's no meat in that. Boom. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Come on. Chips Burritos, and salsa. Beans. You know what I'm saying? There's uh, like chips yeah. and salsa. Same, same. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. All right. So what so, else? Anything else that I've left out? Well, we want to talk a little bit about our group exercise classes because okay. we have a big variety that meets young, old, fit, unfit. You can, you can come and we will make sure you have a good time. And I'll, Shannon will tell you more about that. Yeah, each of our clubs has their own schedule, but we all have cardio classes, base classes. We have strength-based classes as well as Zumba, yoga, or um, mind-body classes. We have our small group uh, training um, area also, and 
we hope that everybody comes out and just gives our classes a try to find something that suits them. We have so many different uh, available different times. We have early morning, we have evening, we have mid morning, midday um, for anybody's schedule. What is the most popular class and do they have to sign up ahead of time? Zumba is one of our most popular. There, you do not need to sign up okay. for that. Uh, we also have Body Pump, which is a strength-based class. Um, we do have a sign-up sheet for that just because it is equipment-based. But we can fit about 40 to 50 people in the class. So spinning isn't as popular anymore? Um, it's not the most popular, but we Funny. do pull in. We <laughs> but we do pull in some great numbers in our in our cycle classes. Um, we have some different cycle classes as well um, from freestyle cycle to um, a, a more choreographed cycle called RPM and Moy cycle. So heart rate heart rate based training. Okay. So if you were to eat right and exercise, you could be healthy. Absolutely. What a phenomenon. And happy. <laughs> and, and happy. That's kind of what and it And it takes. changes your attitude, too, and mm-hmm. your position on things. Yes. So you, you yes. feel you pay it forward and you have a smile on your face that you can share with other people, right? Yeah. And it's never too I late mean, to start. I know. That's I, right. um, I have asthma, and I was told I could never run a race, so I did it anyway. And the more I ran, the less medication I had to Absolutely. take. Absolutely. Awesome. I think That's it's right. been 20 years since I had an asthma attack. That's awesome. Because I run, See? and I basically eat well, too. Right. <laughs> That's been, I mean, Ben so, was put on meds when he was in his early 30s, late 20s. And now here he is at age 40, and he's off of all of it. And so it's all it's about the what right you put thing on your to fork. do. Yep. So you find an activity yourself. you like doing. That's right. You know, whether it's a class, maybe it's with a personal trainer, and that you are going to be happy doing, and maybe change it up so that you don't feel like you get in a rut. Eat right. Try eating some healthy options. And go to FitFest on September 24th. Be there. And so the locations, again, are uh, Kingwood, Park Lakes, which is 1960. Park Park Lakes is um, actually Wilson Road and Beltway 8. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then one on 1960 as well. And then Magnolia, Conroe on 105. And then there's one at Highway 6, which those people aren't listening today. (laughs) But if anyway. you work or you're going to be visiting there, you can stop in. You can, yes. yes. Okay. And if you want to find out more information, where is this information located? If you go to the Goldstrom Houston website, it's goldstromhouston.com. And also on our Facebook page. Each gym has their own Facebook page. So come okay. and like our Facebook page and you can get all the information you need. All right. And Courtney, where can they find out where Falacos is going? What's your social media and your website? Okay. So we are on Falaco, uh, excuse me, on Facebook as Falacos. That's F-A-L-A-C-O-S, and which is Falafel Tacos, by the way. I don't know if I ever said that. That's yes. what Falaco is, Falafel Taco. Uh, we are on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Falacos Balls. And... Uh, yeah, so we're all over social media. The best way to follow us, though, is definitely to download our mobile app to your uh, smartphone and follow us that way. Well, thank you, ladies, for coming here on the show today. And again, I want to mention that September 24th, that's this Saturday from 9 to noon at the various Gold's Gym locations. You can go on their Facebook page or their website and find the information. Go to falacos.com to find out where Falacos will be in our county or close to counties. There is a scavenger hunt tomorrow from 11 to 2 in downtown Conroe. Free, free, free. So uh, next Monday, September 26th, will be all about the Texas Sawmill Festival. We will hear from special guests from the Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Show. Rick Hatcher and Christian Shank will talk about all the fun events, kids area, vendors, food, street dance, and the first ever Southwest Lumberjack Championships. And they're coming from six different states to compete for $25,000 in prizes, all free to the public. We hope you've enjoyed the show today. I would love to hear from you. Contact me via Facebook at EMC News or by email at Margie at TaylorizePR.com. Thanks for listening. We will have a podcast of this show by Wednesday evening. Thanks for checking out this production of Lone Star Community Radio, Montgomery County's community radio station.
For more information on this show and other shows on Lone Star Community Radio, check us out online at IRLoneStar.com. If you're interested in sponsoring a program on Lone Star Community Radio and reaching the local audience of Montgomery County on FM, Internet, TV, Media, please call 936-647-5747 or contact us online at IRLoneStar.com. This recording is a Lone Star Community Radio production produced by the show host and Dick Schischler of Lone Star Community Radio. Interested in volunteering as a music DJ or starting your own talk show? Contact Dick Schischler at D-I-C-K at IRLoneStar.com or by phone at 936-647-5747.